Hello, my name is Ben Sayer. In this video I'm going to show you how to use date arithmetic in Reunion for Mac to detect conflicting evidence. I'm going to open up the record for Ralph Edwin Bigsby, one of my grandfathers, and look at the event tab. Within here I've got this death event and one of the sources that I have for that is a death certificate. Now while processing this death certificate I wanted to include the birth information that's in that death certificate which is a common thing you're doing if, if you're starting from death and working back, so you don't have a birth record. In this case, I do, but if you were working back, um, ob, um, oftentimes your death record uh, is your first source of uh, birth information. So I'm just going to open up this source and switch to the multimedia page tab because I want to show you what the document contains. So within here, we've got the death date over on this side. And then over here we have a couple of pieces of birth information. First it says birth date of deceased and listed as July 8, 1901. And then under here this row lists age, 47 years, 2 months, and 19 days. So one might just process this and enter the birth date here and ignore the age information, but that could be a mistake. So I'm going to switch back, cancel out of this, and I'm going to go to birth. I'm going to select the birth event. Now there's already a date entered in here because I have this return of births. So I already have this birth information and a, a source, but we're going to pretend that I don't have a birth uh, document. So I'm just going to click Add Event to add a birth event. And you may also do this if you keep um, separate events for each uh, piece of information that you get. So I'm going to add a birth event. Um, the, reason I'm do the primary reason I'm doing that is because I need an empty date field in order for Reunion to do its date arithmetic. So we're going to take the information that we got in that age row and enter it into this date column. So it said 47 years, 2 months, and 19 days before the death date, which was 27 August 1948. So this is the basic format of the date arithmetic. You put in some amount of time followed by an operator, which in this case is before. It could be after. Um, there, are, there are others. And then, uh, in this case, I put a date at the end, which is a, a constant date. And so, the way that date arithmetic works, if you haven't used it yet, is when you exit that field, uh, Reunion will do a calculation to determine what date that is. So if I press Tab, it'll move me over to this place field, and this text that I typed in for the date arithmetic, arithmetic will be replaced by a date in the format that we're accustomed to seeing. So I'm pressing Tab. And you'll see that that age resolves to 8 June 1901 instead of 8 July 1901. So there's, a, there's conflicting information in that death record about his birth date. It lists his birth date as 8 June, July 1901, and yet the age information calculates to uh, one month different. So he, there's, there's an error in there. What I would do with this information, since I'm not keeping a separate uh, event for each piece of information, I'm just going to uh, cancel that and I'm going to reopen the events. And I'm just going to add a source to this existing birth event that I have. And I'm going to use that same one, number eight. And what I do is I put in the detail column for the source, I put the information that I got from that. So it could be birth date as it shows in the entry above there and, um, and age. 
so there are two sources in there. But I also want to make note that there that they were conflicting. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to begin that detail with conflicting with the word conflicting. So I can see at a glance that for the birth event I've got a source that lists a birth date and then I've got a source that lists conflicting birth date and age. And then the other thing that I might do is open up this source and uh, click over to the freeform text tab and enter in uh, information about the conflict. So I've entered age listed as 47 years, 2 months, 19 days before death, 27 August 48. Calculates to 8 June 1901, while birth date listed as 8 July 1901. So I've got that, um, a more verbose description of that conflict.